do you think you might be pregnant? We are going to talk about in this video 10 different early signs that you could be pregnant. Hi guys, I'm Haley. I'm a labor and delivery nurse, childbirth educator, certified breastfeeding counselor, doula, and mom of two. Welcome to Pregnancy, Birth, and Parenting 101, educating and supporting you one video at a time. If you are pregnant, you may be experiencing a lot of different symptoms. It may be a few of these, it may be all of these, but let's break it down. The very first and earliest symptom would be spotting or light vaginal bleeding about 10 to 14 days after you think that you ovulated or the date of conception. So what that is, is your little egg that traveled, your fertilized egg that traveled down to your uterus is implanting itself into the wall of your uterus. It basically is suctioning itself there to make sure that it stays there, nothing messes with it, and it grows into a healthy, beautiful baby. And that can cause a little bit of vaginal bleeding. So 10 to 14 days after you ovulated or you think you may have that that was the night. Um, if you have a little bit of vaginal bleeding, that could be a sign that yes, indeed, you are pregnant. The second sign would be swollen or tender breasts. Some women have this symptom right before they start their period. So it could be kind of go either way. I personally uh, never had that symptom before I started my period, but I knew I was pregnant with both my daughter and my son before I even missed my period simply because of my breasts. They were rather tender, especially the areola. And in some cases, your areola can even start darkening before your missed period. So if you're noticing that as a sign as well, you know, pay attention to your titties, ladies. They can tell you, they know. Uh, the third sign is that if you're making more trips to the bathroom, urinary frequency is a major sign that you could definitely be pregnant. And the reason is, is because while you're pregnant, especially early in pregnancy, your body's kind of making some more blood for you because they know at the end you're gonna lose a lot and you're gonna need it, right? And so that extra blood volume can cause more work for your kidneys because uh, there's more fluid in your body and then guess what? That extra fluid gets pushed into your bladder and you pee it out. So that would be why you are peeing more. The fourth thing is that you might be feeling extra tired lately or extra sleepy. Like when you get home from work, you can't stay up for your usual shows or you don't want to get up in the morning. Um, that is a sign that you could be pregnant as well. And the reason why is because you get a big spike in progesterone early in pregnancy and it just kind of makes you really sleepy. Progesterone is one of those hormones that just lulls us right to sleep. Uh, which is great at night when you need to sleep, but not so great when you're feeling it all day long and you got stuff to do because you're a woman in charge. And number five, sign number five, um, bloating. So I hate to break it to you, that's not your belly bump yet. Your baby is like the size of the period at the end of the sentence. Um, so that's not your belly bump. Um, belly bump, that is just good old fashioned bloating. That also could be a sign that you're about to start your period as well. So, um, but if you're having that with some of these other signs, likely you might be pregnant. Um, and then number six is moodiness. So <laughs> when I say moodiness, and it is, it's not like your usual moodiness. My husband said that he knew I was pregnant before we even took the test because he said that within a 10 minute period, he loves to tell the story, I yelled at him, started crying, and then basically wanted to mount him. So um, yeah, lots of, lots of hormones and mood swings and things going on that just cause moodiness, uh, which yeah, that's lots of fun. Anyway, number seven is nausea, which is not so fun. Um, and I don't know who coined the term morning sickness because it, you know, it can last all day long. And uh, stay tuned for the nausea one because I'm going to be doing a video on that to help you girls out. Um, 
usually you'll experience nausea between about four to six weeks is when it will start kicking in. I remember when I was pregnant with my son that the day that I hit six weeks, I went out to breakfast and my chicken and waffles came and I looked down at it and I looked back up and I was, said, I'm going to be sick. And I proceeded to go to the bathroom and dry heave. So that was fun. Uh, nausea. Yeah. But hey, if you're having it, you might be pregnant. Um, number eight is going to be your sense of smell. So they don't know why, but for some reason, when you're pregnant, you have a heightened sense of smell. So for instance, my mom tells the story of when she was at the mall with her mother and my two brothers and they had been shopping and she sat down at a bench and there was an ashtray there. This was, you know, back in the eighties when people had ashtrays inside and smoked inside. Dumb. Don't smoke while you're pregnant. That's another video. But anyway, um, she sat down next to the ashtray and she all of a sudden felt this wave of nausea. And she looked at her mom and she said, and my mom is a Southern woman. She said, oh, mother, I think I'm pregnant. And she said she knew it before she even missed her period or anything. She went home and um, took a test. And sure enough, she was pregnant with moi, with me. So increase sense of smell. Number eight. Number nine, you missed your period, okay? You missed your period, you're waiting on Aunt Flo, you're waiting and waiting and waiting and she's not showing up, so you call her up and you say, Aunt Flo, girl, where you at? I'm waiting on you. And she says, it's probably gonna be at least a year before I see you again, which brings me to point number 10, positive pregnancy test. All right, so if you've gotten to the point where you've had a positive pregnancy test, chances are you're pregnant because although a false negative is a little bit more common, um, a false positive is extremely rare. So one of the ways um, that you can ensure that you get don't get a, a false negative is you want to pee on this lovely little stick First thing in the morning, when all those hormones that are detectable on the test have just been marinating in your bladder, get up in the morning, pee on the stick, that's your highest chance of knowing that, um, or seeing the correct results. Um, home pregnancy tests actually have a 97% um, success rate, or they're correct 97% of the time, if you take it on the day that you are supposed to start your period or after that. Um, the earlier you take it, the less likely that it is, um, it is accurate, 97% accuracy. That's what I was trying to think of. Anywho. Yes. Yeah, so this is kind of, you know, that result that you're like, okay, I'm pregnant. Now what do I do? Um, you look at this video. I don't know where I placed the card, but you're going to look at this video and I'll tag it up here for you to look at. I'm pregnant. Now what? Anywho, if all of those symptoms or some of those symptoms you're experiencing right now, chances are you're probably pregnant, but the best way to know is once you're close to your missed period, take that at home pregnancy test, take it first thing in the morning, and if it says positive, congratulations, and if it's unwanted pregnancy, congratulations anyway, because it's still a life, and it's inside of you, and you're amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share with a friend if this was helpful. Um, look me up on Instagram at Naples Birth Services and please head over to my website at NaplesBirthServices.com if you'd like any in-home childbirth education or labor and birth support. Thank you guys for watching and remember, you got this.